I lived here for five years. I studied and then I worked for a while. And I mean, of course, there was a lot of difficulties, especially with the language and that. But I really, I loved it. You know, the people are amazing. The place is just magical. There's such good energy. <laughs> I think Cyprus has such amazing talent. There are so many talented musicians, but I don't think they're celebrated enough. I don't think they're given enough opportunities to express themselves and just be famous musicians or, or just to be happy musicians. They don't have enough chances here. That's great. Burada müzik yapmak, yani birçok şeyden yani ilham alacak, alabileceğimiz birçok şey var aslında ama engel olan da birçok şey var. You have all these talented musicians that are playing in bars or or in in weddings, and people go there and they don't even appreciate it. They don't listen to the music. They don't understand what the musicians are there for. The country itself doesn't give them, for example, you don't, they don't get scholarships for, for music universities, they don't get scholarships to study music. Bir müzisyen için en önemli şey eğer en kötü şey kendini ifade edememeli yani. Veya sizi dinleyen olmamasıdır yaptığınız müziğe. There is this isolation all of us feel um, in everything. I've been following events and festivals and all that stuff going on in the south. And um, there are much more stuff going on, it seems to me. I try to follow um, and I'm glad that I um, somehow um, crossed this uh, border inside me. Mysterious smiles arising, beams of earth driven sunlight breaking into shadows of the darkness. But you know, in growing up in Cyprus, there's people that like traditional Greek music, pop, RB, as well as rock. But you know, you're trying to create a scene in Cyprus where you're trying to prove your own or show your own music to people that will like you, but the circle is small. If you want to be an orchestral musician, there's opportunities everywhere. Playing an orchestra with a violin, a clarinet, anything like that. But being a so-called rock musician, I'm guessing it's a sort of hard decision to make. Living on this side of Cyprus, you know, if I've ever heard of an event up in the north side, I'm gonna go 
if I ever had the chance to collaborate with someone, you know, um, I wouldn't say no because of the division of the war or whatever happened.